There's no better way to learn history than to experience it firsthand. Reenactments of historical battles can be one way to get that experience. There's a group of students in the Wilmington area who make it a part of their high school life. We're talking about the Delaware Military Academy. It's all part of a unique training while wearing authentic uniforms of the U.S. Navy. When I go to classes and I talk to my friends and I do my homework, it's pretty much the standard experience that other people tell me about. I'm just in a uniform most of the time. This is the Delaware Military Academy. If it weren't for the uniforms, authentic naval artifacts, and military customs, on deck. you might mistake it for any other high school. And in many ways, DMA is just another high school. But talk to some of the students here, they're called cadets, and you quickly realize something's actually very different. Not a lot of kids who go to, say, a private school or a public school have the chance to show leadership like we do here. Other schools might teach you about like leadership and discipline, uh, teamwork, uh, different qualities like that, but DMA gives you a chance to put them to action. DMA isn't a boarding school for troubled teens, quite the opposite. It's a highly competitive charter school with a standard curriculum of English, math, and science. What sets DMA apart is the Naval Sciences program, run exclusively by retired military officers, and the primary reason for these authentic U.S. Navy uniforms that the cadets wear. I'll wear it to the store if I'm coming home from school, and people will stop you and say, thank you. It's a very good feeling to say that you're, um, even though you're kind of not, you're still like a part of something bigger, like a part of, a part of the military almost. Cadets don't have to join the military when they graduate, though many do. Nine former cadets are enrolled at the Naval Academy alone, and dozens more go on to other ROTC programs or enlist. Oh. Even after school activities have a military slant, such as rifle spinning and historical reenactments. Fire. Last fall, a group of cadets took part in a reenactment of the White Marsh Encampment at Hope Lodge in Pennsylvania. They're going to get a better appreciation of how difficult it was to live like this and to fight like this. Maybe they get a little bit of a better interest or deeper interest in history. They'll remember this more than remember what they read in a book. I guarantee that. Dane Holland teaches physics and also tries to teach beyond the textbook. One of the favorite lessons involves this trebuchet, a medieval war machine, which Mr. Holland uses to demonstrate physics concepts. He proudly recalls how a former student built it. He was supposed to do a PowerPoint presentation. And he came and asked, can I build, build this thing instead? So we laughed about it and said, sure, you can build a model. That'd be great. So he came back and said, it's not going to be a model. It's going to be full size. The students love to see bowling balls hurled hundreds of feet Fire! through the air. But even in this moment of silliness, Mr. Holland notices something far more important on display. But look at the energy they have to go running down the hill and retrieve the bowling balls and bring them back and the respect that they show when they do that. In this case, we shot it off into some mud. What did they do? They grabbed them and ran and found some deep puddle and washed the darn things before they brought them back. So, uh, so that's just the kind of characters we have at the school. DMA received some funding from the U.S. Navy through the Junior ROTC program, so there are a lot of Navy-themed artifacts. Even the buildings are designed to recall ships. And speaking of ships, administrators talk about the three ships at the school, leadership, scholarship, and citizenship.